Good evening. You're watching Prime News 25 at 10 on this Monday night. Thank you so much for being here with us. This past Friday, utter chaos broke out at Magruder High School in Montgomery County, Maryland. One student shot another inside of a bathroom. We didn't have a lot of official information at the time, but today police got up in front of the podium to answer a lot of questions about what happened and what's being done to secure the schools. Yeah, so let's go straight out to WDVM Cheyenne Corn, who was at the press conference that was held today at police headquarters. Cheyenne, lots of new information from that briefing today. What did you learn tonight? Yeah, so when we first brought you this story on Friday, we said that there would be more information coming out in the coming days. And today, Police Chief Jones, he really broke it all down for us, giving us a detailed timeline of the events that took place on Friday from the time that that student was shot to the time that police arrived to the time that the suspect was in custody. But probably the most unsettling piece of information that we learned today was while all of this was happening, in that school bathroom, there actually were students witnessing the entire thing, and they didn't call police or even let any MCPS officials know. You want to know what they were doing? They were live tweeting, and now that 15-year-old boy is fighting for his life. It is wiser to give people the help that they get the help started that they need versus being the superstar on Twitter for the day. 17-year-old Stephen Austin Jr. is being charged as an adult for shooting a 15-year-old recruiter high school student. Police say the two decided to meet in the bathroom to settle the disagreement. And for unknown reasons, it led to Austin Jr. pointing the gun at the victim's head, but the 15-year-old swatted the gun away and instead it hit him in the lower body. The victim in this case did not identify who, who shot him and in fact, I don't believe he shared that he had been shot initially. After police arrived, it took nearly two hours to find Austin Jr., who was then taken into custody. Police say he was found in a classroom with other students and had a 9mm ghost gun that he bought online. When the gun was located, it was disassembled with one piece in his backpack and a magazine in one of his socks. What's so dangerous about ghost guns? And what was one of the primary concerns we had here in the county? Kids can buy them, kids can build them, and kids can use them. After being in place for 19 years, this was the first school year the county eliminated school resource officers from buildings. Because of this incident, interim superintendent and county leaders say they'll be doing a review of its safety and security measures. The program is one part of it. Our students have a responsibility, our families have a responsibility, our community have a great responsibility in helping us to solve this problem. The program is one part of it. The school system has a responsibility. Now, tomorrow is the first day of the semester, so students will be back in the building then, but it is going to be a half day for Magruder High School students. Also, MCPS says that there will be an increased police presence, and for any students that are, that are experiencing any anxiety and choose not to come to school at all, they say that that will be an excused absence. I also am learning that some students, they plan to wear navy blue and white, which are the colors of Magruder High School, to show their support for tomorrow. But I'm reporting in Montgomery County, Maryland. I'm Cheyenne Coran for WDVM 25. Such incredibly different, uh, difficult way, excuse me, to start off a new semester. Cheyenne Corinne there, thank you all.